Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have for you my completed coloring pages from July 2020. Before we jump into those, I do want to quickly say that this is an adult only coloring channel. It is not intended for or geared towards children. All right, so I did not color as much this month as I did in June. Um, a lot of times I just was not feeling it. I was not in the mood to color, um, but I do have some. So this first one here is a PDF from Fairytopia by um, Mystic Art Mirrors that I got on Etsy. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, I used Ohuhu markers, ink tents, um, color softs. On the background, I used King Art gel sticks, and there is some also the Stardust jelly roll, and on her wings and her eyelashes, wings or whatever those are, are um, polychromos. Glitter. All right, so that is that. Then I have uh, the Jasmine Beckett Griffith a Fantasy Art Adventure Coloring Book. And in this one, I did this little one here. And I did follow a color along on YouTube on uh, Julie's Passion for Coloring, I think it's her channel. And I actually did that. It's pretty small, so I was able to finish that in one day. And that is done with Prismacolors. All right, the next one I have is from Erie Patisserie which is Carla Magana's new book. And I did this one. I just wanted to do a quick one and this page for some reason was really cute to me. So I decided to do this one first. Um, I use Ohuhu markers, um, some dual pentel metallic, metallic gel pens. There's also some jelly roll glaze and I'm not sure what pencil this is. I don't remember. It might be color softs or it might be polychromos, one of the two. So there is that one. The next one is from Fabiana Atanasio's Peter Pan. And I did Tinkerbell. This page is ink tents, color softs, and polychromos. And there's a little bit of stickles around her wings. So there's that one. And this was also for um, Color Your Horde 2020. This one is from Color by Number Travel Mosaic from Sunlight Drawing. And I did this one. Um, this is the first time that I decided to color in between the shapes for the white to cover up the white with a gel pen. Um, I've been seeing everybody do it, so I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. And I am actually debating going back and doing it on my other pages. I probably won't. That's a lot of work that I kind of don't feel like doing. Um, but I will definitely be doing this for the rest of the pages in this book because I like how it came out. The next page is from Living Dead Girls Coloring Book by Black River Art. The actual illustrator's name is Carlin Douglas. And I just did this one really quick. Um, I used Ohuhu markers, 
some dual pencil metallic on this, a little bit of jelly roll glaze. And I think that's about it. It looks like a little bit of pencil on there too. Which is most likely um, polychromos because those are the pencils that I had out at the time. All right, I did another color along from Julie's Passion for Coloring channel, and that was in Spirit Animals, and I did this page. I'm still, for the life of me, cannot get it together with blending and layering, um, but I do quite like how the crown came out. And this was also for Color Your Horde because this is my first page in Spirit Animals. Okay, the next one is from Spooklets Volume 1. I did this one. This one I actually did the other day. Yep, on the 29th I finished this one. And this was for um, a color palette challenge in the Carla Magana Facebook group. And it was purple, black, and pink. With some gold accents. My name is Yohuku Markers. Um, some dual pencil metallic. There's some jelly roll glaze. Um... And there is some Kiritaki watercolors on the shapes in the background. Where's that one? The next one is from Pinocchio. This one I used This one is Inktense Color Softs, and um, there is a little bit of the Color It Gel pens on here. But most of it is pencil. See a little bit of the glitter. This is another for, I believe, Yes, this is another for Color Your Horde because that was my first page in the Pinocchio book. All right, my next one, actually I have two in here, is from Hannah Lynn's new book, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. So the first one here is a flapper Franny. Um, this was a buddy color with Cindy over on Instagram. This page actually got a lot of love on Instagram. Um, it was actually my page so far that got the most likes, which was really nice. Um, but on her, I used Ohuhu Markers Color Softs and the At You Speak uh, Copic um, Glitter Pens. And the gold along the borders here is uh, metallic watercolor. I believe it is, yes. And there is some um, Mod Podge along the border here. It's either the, it is the glitter one. The sparkle, I'm sorry, it's the sparkle one. You can see all the glitter. The next one I did was another buddy color. Is this from July? It's gotta be from July, right? Yes, it is. Um, this is a buddy color with Jackie. 
from Adult Coloring with UFOs. And this one I didn't really do too much on. Um, it's just Ohuhu markers and um, color soft pencils. And then a tiny bit of glitter gel pen on the shell and the sand. And I did put little names on the chips and the soda to make it just a little more realistic. But I like how this one came out. Oh, the background, the blue is That is Neo Color Tubes for the sky. Don't think I do more here. Oh, okay. My next one is from Mermaid Burlesque by Deborah Muller. And I did this one here. This one has a lot, a lot of glitter. I did this one for 4th of July. And she is done with Ohuhu markers. And there's some kind of pencil on here. Probably my color softs, because I've been using those ones quite a bit and a little bit of dual pencil metallic for the silver. And it is um, the holographic glitter in the background. Lots and lots of that. I may have overdone it with the glitter. There's that one. Almost done, we only got one more book after this. This one I did Cinderella and on this page I used pencils. I wanted to see how um, one of the more budget friendly pencils would work on these books before I got my Statler pens. So I used Colore, or Colore? it's, it's C-O-L-O-R-E. Um, a majority of them on here. I did use a little bit of Prisma, but it wasn't much. It was just for one of the lighter blues that I could not find in the color. So there's that one. Ouch. And my last book that I have to show you is a book that I just received on Thursday. Um, and I have colored Ten in here already, um, but I'm gonna show you the ones from that are technically from July, and I will probably sometime soon be doing a halfway completed video of this one already. So then you'll be able to see a sneak peek of the ones that I've done today. So I did color the little this book belongs to you or this book belongs to page. Did this one. This one. And all of these pages are on my Instagram as well. I've done a lot in here already. This is probably one of my favorite ones in here that I've done so far. 
because it's roses and roses are my favorite flower. And this is the last page that I have to show you. Um, if you guys like color by number or if you like some live drawing, I definitely recommend this book. These are um, relaxing, quick and easy to do and you go through them fast. Clearly, because <laughs> I have um, about 10 or 11 done already. 11, I've done 11 already. And I just got this book on Thursday. And that is while I'm working from home too that I've been able to complete that many. So they do not take long to do at all. All right, guys, so that is it for the month of July. I will see you all again in the next video if you like this one please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already and i will see you all later bye